Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is October 30th. It is the final day of the 30 day challenge. We have made it. I have posted every single day. Haven't skipped any days, haven't made any excuses over the last 30 days, despite getting a contract with a local high school and working full time and volunteering and doing everything else that I do with my life. I'm very glad, I'm very appreciative for the effort that I put in and I'm very grateful for everyone who has followed along on this journey. In a couple days, I'll post some stats on my community page with the followers gained and the hours watched and all sorts of information there. But to everyone who has watched, thank you very much. It has been awesome to do this challenge. I've learned a lot, but that will be saved for a different video. Today's video topic will be about leading with gratitude. So I think it's pretty common, and I see this a lot in my profession, that rather than be grateful for people's contributions, rather than lead with thank you and kindness, what we tend that we typically criticize and point out the things we don't want to see. And a good friend of mine in the past had told me that what you focus on grows. And so, especially in the classroom, if I'm always pointing out and criticizing people, the only relationship the students ever have with me is one of critical nature. And I've found time and time again that that simply doesn't produce the results that I want. And it doesn't create a good relationship with my students. And this same philosophy can be applied in anything, a friendship, a relationship, a relationship with family members, whatever it is. When you're dealing with people, if you're constantly just criticizing and pointing out the things they're doing wrong, it never really helps anyone. Think back to a time where you experience a lot of criticism instead of any praise or acknowledgement of the things that you did well. How does that impact the work that you do and the relationship that you have? And so for today's video, just emphasizing the need to lead with gratitude. So one strategy I implement in my classroom is Instead of criticizing students for not plugging in their Chromebooks as they return them, I regularly say, thank you for plugging those in. I appreciate that. And it does employ a certain degree of guilt, which I'm not against, because the alternative is, you know, criticism. Hey, you didn't do this thing that is required of you. I mean, in today's day and age, it's hard to really get people and students to do things that even they should be doing. So rather than just constantly criticizing people and breathing down the necks of people for things that they should be doing, it Instead, praise the things you want to see because there's always those students and people who are doing the right thing, who are doing what they should be, but the whole group tends to typically hear the criticism because that's all that's really focused on. So instead, leading with gratitude allows you to acknowledge that behavior, that activity, whatever it is you want to see in the world and breathe and speak life into it. The same holds true in a relationship. If you come home and criticize your spouse or your partner and say, hey, the dishes aren't done, every time you see the dish is not done. But every time they are done, you just have this mindset like, well, of course they should be done. I told them to do that. You're never actually acknowledging that person's contribution and you're not building them into a position where they're going to contribute without needing to be told congratulations or well done or without needing to be told that it needs to be done. Instead, they're always building this negative connotation towards the dishes. So hopefully after watching this video, you reevaluate the manner in which you engage with people. Are you leading with criticism? or are you leading with gratitude and appreciation? Thank you for tuning in. See you soon.